That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, it it should be on my Facebook page. It's on my Tamika. my basic page. Yeah. On Tamiko Garner. Yeah. Let's see. So let's see. Anybody say hey? But the thing is, I want to be able to see comments only visible to you. Tamika Garner, join me on live. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know where. The only thing is, I think that you don't get to see. Yeah. Oh, there's a delay. Is a delay. So it is up live right now? It's live. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we live. Oh my God. Yay. So you guys, we are live. Finally. Good God almighty. I am just, oh my God. So what a comments? What a huh? Can you see comments? I cannot. Okay. So that's the unfortunate part about this, I suppose, that I can't see the comments. Um uh oh okay I can see me okay I see us live there so maybe I'll see comments popping up in here. Um, maybe maybe <laughs> I'm gonna turn the sound down. Okay. And um and then oh shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this. Girl, you know, I'm doing, I got a multitask, okay? You guys, I'm so excited. We finally got this to work. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so I just wanted to um, get my little notes here so that I can, I guess I'm, you know, I'm adjusting my screen. No, 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 no. Sorry, this. What happened? <laughs> I'm just trying to see my notes. That's all. I'm trying to see my notes. You guys, so good morning. This is Tamiko Garner, your plant-based vegan sister who likes to keep it real and relatable, inspiring you to adopt a plant-based vegan way of eating one plate at a time. Uh, it looks like we are got, oh, it looks like Bliss is watching us here. Uh, we've got a comment. Um, mm -mm. I, I want to see the comments. Can I see the comments? Okay, there we go. She said it's live and in echo stereo. Is it still oh, echoing no. right now? Uh, oh, but you know, we got like a 50,000 time delay. So you can't see when the comments are coming up effectively. Um, okay, I wanna... I want to try to see all of the comments as I go. Well, we've got five people watching. Um, so good morning. And uh, I we are live here with Stephanie Perry of Perry's Catering. And uh, she is going to be sharing with us uh, a little bit about some of her secrets and things like that, that you can have um, with flavoring up your food. She is going to be one of our guest chefs at the uh, It's Better. OK, she said it's better. Yay. Oh, good. Okay, we got success. I swear a fifth time is a charm, boy. <laughs> Woo! That is what you call persistence. We are persistent and making never this give up. <laughs> don't give up. So that's the word of today. The statement of today. Don't give up. Just hang in there and it will work, y'all. It will work. She said you can't. Well, Stephanie, your lighting is a little bit, if you can. Maybe maneuver a little bit better with your lighting. Yeah, we can't because Bliss says she can't see. Is that better? Yes. I don't know. Is that better? No, not really. No. <laughs> okay. Because <This> is... <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> we want to see your beautiful face. Okay. Let me open the blind. There... Is that better? There we go. Well, a little bit. More. A huh. little bit. Like that. I turn. <laughs> what? Why? I wonder why it's so dark. Well, you know what? Because the light should be well, usually light should be behind you, but yeah, you're a little bit dark there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'll try one more thing. <laughs> you guys, thank you all. First of all, I just want to say thank you all for being very patient. And is that better? And, is that better, Bliss? Not really. I mean, I'm looking at it on my iPad. So sure. seeing you there, it's not. Do you have like a can you turn on a lamp or something? I just did. 
You did? Let me see if I can move the table. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you might have to move into the light, Carrie Ann. Move into the light. <laughs> You're a little darker. Well, okay. Moving my whole table. Yeah, is it's your face, like part of your face is is like I guess a shadow. Yeah, is that better? This side is dark. This side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, y'all. Is that better? Let's say no. it a little bit. She said a okay. little bit. Well, that's a little bit better. We just let's just roll with that, you guys. We just okay. have to because we, you know, people have been very very patient uh, so far and hanging with us and uh, going through this whole thing with trying to get it on live. Not sure what the heck was going on with Facebook this morning. It was not allowing us to join um, in. So I don't know. It's the most strangest thing on the planet. So right now I am using Be Live TV. Seems to be the thing that has worked the best thus far, quick and easy. It was a lot easier than anything else. The only thing I'm not too thrilled about is the slight delay. So, but maybe you guys don't know that it's a delay. I know it's a delay because of me looking at the video. Anyway, moving right along. Good morning, Stephanie. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. For joining us. Yay. You're welcome. Oh, Pleasure. So, quick question. Have you, what did yeah. you have for breakfast this morning? Have you had breakfast this morning? I am. No, I haven't. I'm drinking water with cucumber and lemon. <laughs> That's my oh. breakfast for this morning. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, you heard that. They're, they're, Miss Sheffy is having water and cucumber for breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bliss, Facebook can be special. But, aw, but she said we're worth waiting for. Oh, oh, how sweet. That's a big love, big love right there. <laughs> so, funny. anyway, um, we've already decided. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Stephanie. Uh, she is the owner and executive chef of Perry's Catering. For over 20 years, she's been in the culinary, hospitality, and customer service industries. She has trained at the California Culinary Academy and as a certified cooking for caterers and business for caterers. Her passion for catering comes from her childhood when uh, she was able to help her Aunt Pearl with her catering business, uh, with her catering business, and she loved all the aspects of catering ever since. So she owns, um, she used to own Perry's Food for the Soul in San Leandro, if anybody out there remembers that. Uh, give us a little hand raise, uh, where she served her award-winning barbecue and down-home soul food, okay? <laughs> Y'all, and let me tell you the bread, I, I, anyway. Uh, she loves to create new and innovative dishes, especially the fusion of Creole, Cajun, and California cuisines uh, that her clients find delightful. And she enjoys her found love. She has a newfound love of developing amazing vegetarian and vegan dishes. And let me tell y'all, if you were not at the vegan food and wine experience in June, you missed the treat of her <laughs> nana, her vegan version of her all time off the chain bread pudding. Y'all missed it. Bliss will tell you it was bomb. Okay. Anybody who's there knows it was delicious. So she's going to be bringing that to us this in November. So I'm going to go ahead and start off. So Stephanie, tell us a little bit about yourself outside of, oh my God, I look really funny. Outside <laughs> of... <laughs> <laughs> outside of what we just shared in your bio. So I absolutely, I definitely have a passion and a love for cooking. I have two beautiful children. Well, they're adults now, but you know, they rock with me. They've been by my side from the beginning of my culinary career. They were with me at the restaurant. They learned how to customer service. They saw all the customers coming in and out. And I love hiking. Um, went to HU Howard University on a volleyball scholarship. And I love life. I love living, hiking, just being with my friends, family, wine. Um, just every life, every day is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Awesome. And here yeah, I'm just, uh, oh, okay. I'm trying to see. And definitely have a passion for cooking amazing food and making people happy with my food. 
Mm, Bring them so much pleasure. <laughs> and you do make us happy with your food. I, it, it, you know, we walk out, I think Bliss said on another one that she was singing and dancing. So you hallelujah. do make us happy with your food. And she said, hallelujah, right? Yeah. She said, hallelujah for two, three days. Yeah. So let me ask you this. What are your three must-haves in order to ensure that your food is nice and seasoned? In terms of seasoning, I like fresh herbs and spices. Hmm. You know, some sort of broth, um, vegetable broth, chicken broth, uh, some sort of seafood stock and spices. Okay. And, and, and butter or or vegan butter. Butter or vegan butter. Yeah, butter makes everything taste good for real. Yeah, for real. it's so creamy. I'm so, so glad there's some fabulous vegan brothers out there. Yes, there are. And the best one that I like so far is Miyoko's butter. That's a really Miyoko's good. Miyoko's is the best. It is the yeah, best. I stand by that. <laughs> it is the best. And you won't even you, know the difference. You really can't tell the difference. No, you really can't. And it's uh, and it has very few ingredients. It's not plagued with a whole exactly. bunch of hydrogenated oils and all of that stuff. It's like some cashews. It's hard to believe that they made butter right. out of some cashews. Like yeah, I still can't figure it out, but it works. Right. It works. And I'm in a thank you, Miyoko. Uh, right. So now you said you like fresh herbs. What are the fresh herbs that you like to use mainly? Um, oregano. Um, I love rosemary and thyme. Mm. Uh, those are my top three. And then depending oh. on if I'm cooking something else, it would be mint, dill, but oregano, basil, rosemary. Wow. Yeah. Because and, and I got hip to thyme since I've become I vegan. Right. That, I was like, what? How did I not have this in my life? Why was I not using right. it before? It's, oh my God, it's so it's good. so flavorful and sturdy. It's a sturdy herb. You can do Very a lot with thyme. So where do you, where have you used thyme the most? Thyme, I use it in, in sauces and pasta. And in, in, in pasta sauces and with tomatoes or potatoes. Tomatoes, potatoes. <laughs> tomato, tomato, potato, yeah. tomato. Potato. Potato. <laughs> And then it, oh. always, it tastes great with um, veggies when you saute it with veggies. Mm, I bet. I bet. And uh, so tell me what now, you know, I'm a, a as, for those who know me, I am a kitchen gadget girl. So I oh. have to ask my one of my favorite chefs, what oh. are the two cooking utensils that someone should have in their kitchen? That that's gonna like they can make anything and everything with these two utensils. What what are your top two that you would suggest? There's so many, but a, a good cast iron skillet. You can do a lot with a cast iron skillet. I mean, you can bake with everything. Put it on the grill, bake with it, do whatever you need to do on top of the stove with it, and um, sharp knives. And um, <laughs> okay, of, you, you gonna get a bonus <laughs> oh, and and the bonus and a bonus. <laughs> Some sort of blender, be it a, a Nutribullet or a Vitamix or, or something like that. Yeah. Or a food There's processor. Like food processor, exactly. Yeah. Like I, I think the food processor is is like a must have for the vegan kitchen. It you is have have a one. must. It's a must. You really need to have oh that, God. I think. Um, but I like that when you said the sharp knives, because you're right. I mean, you know, without a good knife. You're stuck. Yeah, you, you have stuck. to have a sharp knife. <laughs> You do At least have one. one. Now, <laughs> of the knives, which is the one that, you know, because if you're going to have a good knife, some knives can be kind of pricey. What do, what would you say is the average price of a good knife? Uh, a good knife for the home chef. So home chef would be, a, um, you get a set for $139 or just go buy one for $30 maybe. $30 okay. at um. A, a restaurant supply or Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay. And the one, what's that one knife? Um, is it the what is the one knife to have if you were gonna gonna go all out and spend for a really good expensive knife? Which one would that be? I mean, I know you got like a Paris knife, you got the chef, you got a cook's knife, you've got all the different ones. Which one would you say is the one that they should have? A chef's knife. Chef's knife. And is and that the one knife. with a little point? Yes, and a pair of knife. Now the <laughs> chef's knife, that's the one that's kind of pointed at the end, but it's a little wider at the back, right? Yeah. And it comes down. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Just so people like, I, I should have had one on hand, but you know, well, I have I to could've. get up. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't know we we're gonna go that deep, right? Right, right, right. Thank you. Question. So um now here's a question because I'm coming up against this a lot. 
quite mm-hmm. frequently. And, you know, we, we do. And, and, and I do want to let my, let the viewers know that Stephanie is not necessarily, she's, she does, um, she's not necessarily a vegan chef, but she can make vegan options. She, you know, so any of your catering needs, she got you. Okay. Um, so what, what would you say, how important is it for a caterer slash chef to make sure that they have vegan options available? And are you attracting, are you getting those, are you getting those requests to prepare more vegan options? Absolutely. I think it's paramount for a chef or a caterer to come into a situation where they're going to be preparing food for the public or for a gathering to have vegan options. You should always ask the client, if they have anyone with special dietary needs or any vegan or vegetarian guests coming, and they may say no, but still as a chef or someone providing the food, I feel it's a, our obligation to provide a dish just in case. Right. right. And so in doing so, what, what, what are some of the things that you've done that has met that need? In terms of prep, food preparation? Yeah. Food, um, one of the most popular one would be um, a jerk tofu salad. It's jerk mm. tofu. It's really tasty. Jerk tofu with um, apricots, uh, golden raisins, Swiss chard, and a, a jerk vinaigrette. So the tofu is crispy, and the rest of the food just blends together, and it's very, very delicious. And there's all types of stuff you can do with butternut squash and sweet potatoes and vegetables and pasta, vegan pasta to make fabulous dishes. Right. And appetizers, you can do vegan stuff, mushrooms. There's so many options available to provide for the vegan clientele and vegan guests. And, and you should have something at every function. And that's a great and I and and um hey, hey Lukey. <laughs> um and I think that that's great. And I and I do believe that that is a trend that should start to take place now because I I'm, you know, you never know if when there's going to be a vegan in the room, you know, and because there are so many dietary, you know, concerns now between gluten-free and, you know, so how do you, how as a caterer chef, are you able to, you have to think, I I, I would imagine you'd have to think outside the box to make sure that you've got something that can, that you at least have one dish (laughs) that'll meet all the needs, right? Right. Absolutely. Everyone deserves to eat. Even if you do like a, 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 a tempeh slider, a barbecue tempeh slider with caramelized onions, mm. something like that. If you're doing an outdoor event, there's all types of dishes you can provide that are mm. fabulous, and and the non-vegan guests will love them too. Because now I have you found that sometimes the non-vegan guests end up eating all the vegan stuff. I'm sorry. We, we, we just had that at the last event, and everyone they were grabbing all the fish and the and the chicken and the beef, and they would get down to the the jerk dish I was just talking about. And they were like, well, what's that? And I would explain it. And, you know, our staff would explain it. And they were like, well, we want that too. And then certainly <laughs> I had made enough because everyone was eating that and loving that as well. Now we just had a request. Bliss just asked if uh, you can make a mushroom version of the a mushroom jerk because she's, because there are quite a few people, some vegans are, would choose to go soy free. So they're not necessarily, you know, eating soy or tofu or anything like that. So she just, through that out there, you know, bliss. She's always absolutely. Gonna- <laughs> absolutely bliss. <laughs> so let me let me ask you this question because you are a chef that you know, like we said, you you're not necessarily a quote unquote vegan chef, mm-hmm. um, but you have been teaching yourself to learn how to veganize meals. So how easy is it for you to have um, to veganize your meals? Or for one, let me. Specifically, how easy was it for you to veganize your bread pudding for our event in June? It was actually really simple. You just add uh, something milk. Is, I hear an echo. Can you hear an echo? No, not right now. Okay, so it was actually very easy. It took like one or two tries, and then then it was fabulous. What can you say? It was tasty. <laughs> it was fabulous, no? yeah. and I swear, I bet you. Would put it. And I bet you when we put it next to um, in at the event that we come up in in November, November 16th, I know that when we put the two next to each other, the vegan and the non-vegan, they're not going to know which one. They, they, they're not going to know. I don't one. think so either. I, I really don't no. believe. You said no. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they are not going to know. I mean, 
Right? They're it not. So, it's so good. And then the cho- the vegan chocolate one is fabulous. Right? Oh my and God. I, it is easy. So it works. <laughs> So, and I appreciate, you know, and I have to say, I really appreciate you taking the energy um, and and being and thinking outside the box and being willing to veganize some of your favorite dishes. You know, um, I think that's a fantastic thing that you're doing, and I so appreciate it. And I definitely want to make sure that people know that they have that option. You know, that that they can talk with you and, and say, hey, you know what, I like this. So. It's just fantastic. Thank you so much for, for doing it. And I'm so glad you figured out how to do that vegan bread pudding because I'm like, uh, am I going to have to cheat? Because I, I, <laughs> no, we don't have to, you don't have to cheat. See, and that is the beauty of it, you guys. That's the beauty. So let me just ask you one last question um, and then we'll see if any of the viewers have any questions for you. Sure. Are you ready for the cooking demo on the 16th? Are you ready to show them how we gonna work this this crab cake thing out? I am so ready. I am so <laughs> ready for this cooking demo on the 16th. Y'all have got to be there. It's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be cooking side by side uh, <clears throat> and doing the same thing. So we're making the same dish and you guys are gonna see firsthand how easy it is to veganize something really how easy it is. It really is. I mean, you'll see the different things that we're going to switch out. Like I'm going to use one thing versus what she's using and really make it the same recipe, the same seasonings, the same spices, just switch out the main things. So like for instance, last year I made a vegan sweet potato pie. All I did was switch out the butter and the plant-based milk. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the vegan egg and the vegan egg because we all we all know, right, Stephanie, that egg is just mainly a binding agent in baking. A hundred percent. It's only used for binding. So there's no flavor. I mean, is there ever flavor in egg? I don't even care if you fry it up and don't put any salt pepper on that egg. Is no. not. What the heck is going on up there? Okay. Sounds like drilling. They <laughs> <laughs> have dogs. And... I think somebody is dragged. Oh Jesus. You know, this is that's just, okay. It's live. This that's what happens live today. today. This has been funny today, right? <laughs> this is what happens with live when you go live, you guys. Yeah, a hundred percent. You never know what's gonna happen. You just don't know. At least the dog's not barking up there. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god anyway well i am so excited and looking forward to you once again uh hanging with me at uh, for vegan curious events yes we will see there live uh, does anybody perfect. have any questions for stephanie uh pop them over here i can see your questions when it pops up i can't see it over here but i can see it over here so if you have a question for her feel free to pop a question if you don't have anything right now Go ahead, send a direct message. I'll be make sure to do that. If there are any special requests um, or dietary concerns that you have, girl, get your broom and tap that ceiling. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my God, you talk about old school. Um, now they don't even usually make that much noise. That's the first time I heard that much noise and I don't know how long I've been here for three years. That's Go funny. Figure. Anyway, so anyway, Stephanie, once again, thank you so much for one, for being patient and uh, oh, and getting this thing up and going. OK, thank you, you so it. much. Thank you to the viewers out there who are catching this live. Uh, if you're catching this in the replay, be sure to hit hashtag, re- hashtag replay if you have some questions. Feel free to pop that in there or even if you got some suggestions. If there is something that you want to know about how to veganize, send me a message and I'll make sure to include that in the presentation at the November 16th event. I mean, I'll give you some substitutes. We'll talk about that, but I would love to have some things that we could do. I'm not going to physically make that that day, but we will give give you the options and how and what you can do to veganize it. Okay. So um, you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Be sure to visit www plant-based vegan sister that's s-i-s-t-a-h dot com get your tickets today you're going to meet stephanie live and in person if you want to find out and you need some catering needs be sure to hit up www 
perryscatering.com. Is that correct, Stephanie? No, absolutely. No, my website is getting redone. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's best to reach me on Facebook on Perry's Catering and Private Chef Services. <laughs> That's <laughs> But thank you. <laughs> well, you know, I got to give you a shout out. I got to give you a plug. Yeah. Right? No, you thank you. I appreciate it. You know, yeah. um, can people find you on Instagram as well? Uh, yes. Chef underscore Stephanie Perry. All right. So check her out on Instagram. Go ahead and yep. follow her Facebook page. My mom is now walking in the door. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm going to get back to my Sunday, you guys. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Tamiko Garner, your plant-based vegan sister who likes to keep it real and relatable, inspiring you to adopt a plant-based vegan way of eating one plate at a time. Oh, wait. Can you see my one? I don't know. Anyway. No. <laughs> this is like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay.